Hey traders, this is T Bradley 90 from the My Investing Club chat. I'm one of the top mentors and moderators in chat. As a special gift to our viewers on YouTube, we have created a free two hour course to help teach you how to start a consistently profitable trading business and identify high paying setups in just 30 days. There will be limited seating every week, so register for the course and reserve your spot now using the link in the description. As a special bonus for everyone that watches the entire video, we will give you the link to a free 10 hour additional mini course that has never been released to the public. Register now before all slots completely fill up. Hello, MIC. This is John, AK Wildlife, back for another episode of Options Basic. Um, we're going to continue on talking about a, different positions that you can choose when putting option positions on. In the previous uh, episode, we talked about kind of the very first or basic ones, which was selling the cash secured puts or selling covered calls against your long stock positions that you already hold. Uh, the next ones that we'll kind of get into in this case is uh, kind of vertical spreads. And the, the first few we'll talk about are bullish positions. And the great thing about options is you can create, whether you're bullish or bearish, um, you know, a vertical spread, whether it's calls or puts, truly just by your strike selection. So. In this case, we're going to talk about the bull call debit spread. Uh, it's always a debit and, uh, to initiate position because you're you're buying a long call, you know that's that's you know sh less than the short one that you're selling. So I have my Tastyworks account over to the left. You can see it. Uh, I talked about it in the previous episodes. It's a it's a really good e visual tool that I use to kind of help. Uh, set up trades, kind of see where the delta is at. What happens if I move this around? You can drag, and you know you can see down here on the bottom it says five dollars and sixty cents for the debit. So we're going to talk about uh, setting up. You know we're going to give an example of the different uh, positions that we're going to set up here. So in this case, you know we're going to long one um, sixty call and short one sixty five. So it's always the long is going to be the the lower of the two. So I have the app a Apple ticker pulled up right here it closed at 261.78 so in this case since we're looking at calls we're going to buy the 260 which is in the money because it's below you know the 261.71 so in this case you know, the at the money in the money line depending on whether it's a call or put right is is going to be this quadrant is in the money in calls this quadrant over here is in the money in puts because of the this the price of the current stock right now so we're going to buy the 260 we're going to sell the 265. That's this example right here in real life. And then the, the current pricing is $2.50. So what so, you can do is you can move your call around. So instead of, you know, buying a lower one and selling a higher one, you could flip it, right? So this one, even though I said I'd go over the bull call debit spread, you can sell the 275 and then buy the 280. And what this is doing, what this position is, is saying that I don't believe that the stock is going to go above the 275 strike so in the 20 next 26 days and by by doing that you're this is a credit this time so this is going to be a bear call credit spread where you're get collecting a credit up front but you're at risk it's kind of the same way you're at risk for the difference of the strike minus the credit so this will obviously you're taking on more risk um, because it's quite a bit of a difference so in this case your risk would be the 280 minus 275, right? That's the five minus because you took in a credit of 56 cents if you sold this minus 0.56. So you're taking on $440 of risk, but the odds of this of this stock getting all the way to 275 are is is low because that's just you know the the nature of this. It's you know it's uh, quite a few points. So in this case. It's let's see, 275 minus like we'll just round it to 262. So it's like 13 points above where the current price is. So that's that's why this is a higher odd, but you're 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 taking on more risk because of the odds are in your favor. So there's an 83 ch 83 percent chance that this strike, if you sell it or set it up this way, will stay out of the money. That's this OTM percentage, and so that's why a lot of times 
you know, you don't have to be right and say, I think it's going to rise or fall. You can kind of put it in a range. You just say, oh, well, I believe it's not going to go above 275. So you can do it this way as well. Instead of doing a, you know, a bullish one, you can do a bearish one and collect a credit and stay on the call side. You can do it with the puts. That's what I was talking about. You can you can set up this trade, whether it's calls or puts anyway, by whether you're bearish or bullish based on where you sell your strike and buy your you know your uh, protection on on that side. So um, I'll go over it more down the road. This is more kind of the first step of of that. And um, yeah, that's the that's the basics of that one. And um, and so the other the other one. So we've talked about the call. So the other part is, that is a bullish would be a bull put spread. These are kind of a pretty common one. Um, that people like to do and same thing so they are going to sell you know you're going to sell one hey traders this is tosh i go by t bradley 90 in the my investing club chat just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about mic joining mic maybe you're a member already you have three ways to contact myself personally and through mic you can hit our social media you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.